it could have been catastrophic. For a second, I thought the train like was just gonna completely turn over. Now at 11, another train off the tracks. The major impact of service after the New York City subway's second derailment in six days. But first, underwater again, the devastating deja vu for some New Jersey cities in the aftermath of the latest storm. That is our top story at 11. I'm David Ushery. I'm Natalie Pascarella. Rivers are rising across New Jersey tonight. And we've been here before. This marks the second major flood in less than a month, with many of the same communities once again underwater. Our team is positioned in some of the hardest hit spots, started with News 4's Jackie Beckford, live in Patterson at this hour. Jackie. Hey, Nat, and we are on East Holzman Street. We've been here throughout the evening, and I got to tell you that this water just keeps creeping further and further up the street. The Passaic River is at the end of the street here. What a week it's been weather-wise. Yes, and continues to be. Even though we've got some dry skies the next couple of days, there's another system coming for the weekend, at least part of it. So uh, get prepared now. Tomorrow and Friday are dry. Temperatures in the mid-40s during the day. Rain Friday night. Heavy at times, similar to this last system that just came through. But it'll be out of here by midday Saturday. Then it turns much colder, something we haven't seen in a while. The coldest air of the season so far will hit us next week. An Arctic blast with highs only in the 20s to near 30 degrees. Uh, a wintry mix is even possible on Tuesday. Okay. We'll keep an eye on for it, Janice. Thank you. That'll do it for News 4 New York at 11 at tonight's show starting Jimmy Fallon is next. Today in New York starts at 4 a.m. Have a great night.